Miss Gordon didn't tell me she was having trouble with her telephone. Well, this is her private line, so she probably just called us direct. You don't have to hang out. I don't know how long this is going to take. Oh, Mr. Novak, there seems to be a mix-up in the reservations for suite 507. Two different parties were booked into the suite. We don't have another suite available? No, sir. Well, go ahead. You don't have to worry. I'm not going to steal anything, okay? Uh, I'll tell you what. All technicians and repairmen are bonded. Here's my ID number. Oh, my name. If there's any problem. Okay? Great. to get a tape of your press conference for me. You were sensational, of course, every inch the king of Mendora. You looked very relaxed, and your smile lit up the ballroom the way it lit up your bedroom. Well, almost. I'm happy that all the trouble is behind you, and Mendora's peaceful again. Holy cow. Megan and the king. Who gets around? Vicky's campaign for mayor is going well. I've jumped right in to help her. I figure it's the least a daughter can do, and it keeps me busy. I finally accepted the fact that you and I can't be together, and in my heart as well as my mind. But the loneliness... She didn't finish. <sighs> How could a guy let a girl like this get away? You're her prince, pal. You're hurting. Fixing the phone. Well, my phone's not broken. I used it right before I left. Uh, you had a transmission problem. It's okay now. I'm telling you, I used it right before I left, and even if it did conk out, there was no one here to report it. So what are you doing here? You had some crossed wires. We traced it back from the main office. It's okay now, though. Oh. Well, the manager didn't tell me. Well, I fixed it, so don't mean to cause me problems. Oh, wait a minute. I know who you are. <sighs> I've met you before. You were the man that was giving me a hard time at the press conference yesterday. I don't even have any press conference. You must have the wrong man. I never forget the face of an enemy. Now, what are you doing here in my room? I told you, I came to fix the okay, phone. Okay, fine, you fine. If you're not going to tell me the truth, I'll call the manager and the police. You had some crossed wires. Sure, I just did my sure job. Sure, sure, I did. Fine. You can tell all of that to the cops. Okay, okay, okay. I was at the press conference yesterday. And I stand by everything I said there, too. And you just proved me right. What, I just proved that Vicki Buchanan is running for mayor because she wants to line her pockets? No, you proved that rich people only care about themselves. Look at, look at you, you're calling the cops just because I'm not wearing some $1,000 suit with a $100 tie. It's just because rich people only trust rich people, is that it? If your mother becomes mayor, I, I fear what's going to happen. It's just going to have everybody thrown in jail. Wait, just wait one second. If you were to walk in and find some stranger in your apartment, what would you do? You'd uh, probably shoot them, right? And no. ask questions. I would assume that he's just a hard-working, honest individual like myself trying to make a buck. And if there was any problems, any doubts, I'd ask him if he had any ID before I'd call the SWAT team, have the place surrounded. Okay, fine. Let's see your ID, please. 
Here you go. You want my boss's number, too? Maybe a work order number, or you want to take my fingerprints and make sure I don't have a rap sheet? All right, I'm sorry if I offend you. Save your apologies for the reporters. What are they going to think when I tell them how Vicki Buchanan treats the working people of this city? Look, I am constantly hearing and reading about women who are assaulted and raped, and so it, it puts me on my guard, even against decent men like you. I'm sorry. It gives you a bad rap, but that's the reality of the world we live in these days. I understand. I have a younger sister. I worry about her all the time. All right, and I'm sure that you've heard that my mother has been assaulted by drug lords in this city. No. How would I hear that? Well, it's front page news. You do read the newspaper, don't you? Just the sports section. Right. Well, anyway, my father is worried that I'm going to be the drug dealer's next victim. So you can imagine that that's what was running through my head when I saw you standing here in my room, especially since you gave me such a hard time at that press conference. And you have to admit that it's quite a coincidence that out of all the phone repairmen in this whole city, you're the one that ends up coming here and repairing my phone. Yeah, well, they're, they've been laying off a lot of people at the company. You know, left and right people have been going, so we're covering a lot more territory than we usually do. Well, see, that's another thing that my mother is concerned about, uh, the unemployment. And so she's prepared this position paper on bringing more industry into Landview to create more jobs for people. Yeah, I bet you your mother's best friends with, like, a lot of repairmen and maids and butlers. You know what your problem is? So. What? You're a reverse snob. Someone should really knock that chip off your shoulder. Hey, this chip was hard won, lady. Ever since I was in grade school, rich people like yourself would stomp on me. Look, I'm really sorry that you've had some hard experiences, but I don't really think that gives you the right to assume that anybody who has money is insensitive. I just know what I know. Well, you don't know my mother, and I think that she deserves the chance to prove that you're wrong about her. Well, next time, I'll tell you what, I'll go past the sports page, and I'll read about Victoria's campaign speeches in the banner. No, wait, I've got a better idea. Why don't you just come down to the campaign headquarters and meet Vicki yourself? What? Come down, shake her hand, give her a buck for a campaign button, that kind of thing? I bet you ten bucks that if you were to meet her and talk to her, that she'd win you over. You better pay me that ten right now. Oh, no, no, that's no deal. You have to go down there and talk to her. I'm sure that she'd be very happy to tell you what she plans on doing if she's elected, and I know that she'd be very interested in hearing your views on certain issues. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Why don't you come down and find out? I know that you'd be very surprised, and I think you'd be very helpful as well. I mean, there are a lot of other voters out there who have chips on their shoulders just like you. I mean, you could help Vicki reach them. Isn't that what grassroots politics is all about? You're really terrific. You know that? That's the best snow job I've heard in at least 10 years. Oh, great, great. So why don't you come down and put your money where your mouth is? <laughs> 